Sweet Starts Smackdown, and there's 10 Vermont bakers providing us these delectable desserts, and it's been fabulous. I think I had nine of the 10. And it was just delicious. A beautiful showcase, and people are voting to pick their favorite, so there'll be a winner at the end of the evening. Well, I hate to judge, you know, I, I really do, but uh, I do take my responsibility seriously, and uh, I think the best one will win. We're really proud to support Vermont food purveyors, a lot of the local farms that restaurants source their um, ingredients from, and I think it's bringing in a lot of business during a time that's typically slow for restaurants, as well as benefiting the Vermont Food Bank, who is particularly running low given Irene this past year. and. And so I think it's just a great, a great cause that really fits with our mission as an organization and to help all Vermonters just uh, live a better life here. Seven days for uh, putting together what a great event! Yeah. Not just tonight, but the whole restaurant week. What a great addition to the uh, the life here in Burlington and Chittenden County and the whole state now. So thank you, Seven Days, very much. But you know, I'm really surprised that there's not a dental office that is co-sponsoring this event. Do it! Yeah! Finalist number one, Chef Poppy Gluten Free from Chittenden County. The pitcher in, James Joya. <laughs> Trap Family Lodge, Robert Elger. <laughs> what did you make this evening, and why did you decide that that was the thing for Sweet Start Smackdown? I made a dark chocolate raspberry lemon. Delight. It was delightful. <laughs> Gluten-free? My goodness. You know, usually the only time I want to hear the word free in a dessert is cost-free. You know? <laughs> so I was very surprised with uh, the way it tasted, the, the, the textures, and it was very nicely done. So uh, congratulations, uh, uh, Poppy. <laughs> I, I didn't particularly like that. <laughs> I think we I'm have our nice Simon one. Cowell. <laughs> I'll be Paula. <laughs> I thought it was lovely. I thought the texture of the cake was fantastic, which is kind of a little tough to do when you want something gluten-free, but something that you can cut through as well. So, well done. And the mousse was lovely and light, and the curd it was the perfect texture, and it was so nice that it wasn't like, usually curds, when you eat you know, they don't set, and it wasn't sat there like a pretty little thing. <laughs> that was really exciting. And they gave me a big one, so I was <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, well, I made a parfait with, I started with little blondie pieces, and I put maple custard over that, and then a little caramel whipped cream on top with bacon brittle. <laughs> okay, bacon, come on, everybody. You know, as far as the pecan blondie, um, that was a little too, too sweet for me. There was some that uh, I thought weren't sweet enough for a dessert, but that was a little too, too sweet. And maybe I'm being piggish, but I could have used another layer of the bacon. You know? I, of course, ate all the desserts. Did, did everybody eat all of the desserts? How, can I get a show of hands of how many people actually ate all of them? And who feels sick now? <laughs> so remind everybody what you made this evening. I made a strawberry shortcake, two layers of uh, sponge cake with pastry cream and strawberries from Black River produce, of course. Um, Bossy pot on top and glazed strawberries. On my second round, I also <laughs> had a very good experience with the uh, strawberry shortcake. The first round, I had a strawberry. The second round, I did not have a strawberry. And the strawberries were outstanding. They were delicious. It was much better with the strawberries. but. Overall, it was fantastic. It was uh, a lot of different flavors. It was moist. You know, I found the, the white chocolate 
coding to be a little difficult to eat, but I was able to power through. <laughs> and, uh, uh, I have to give a shout out to a few other people. The cannoli, the cannoli cuties, oh man. <laughs> Who can resist a candy kumquat, you know? Actually, I think that's a new drag character for me, Candy Kumquat. <laughs> and uh, I think that's, and that's nice. Jen Smith at Nomadic Oven, so get your high heels on, you are going to be a drag queen now. Uh, <laughs> the Campfire Cake Pops. Uh, Pops, you know, Gretel Ann Fisher. What a great use of wood, you know, I always appreciate an imaginative use of wood. Back to the strawberry shortcake. Um, while pretty, um, I found it difficult to approach. Um, which is what many of the men in the room are thinking about me right now. You know? <laughs> you just gotta dive right in, guys. That's what you gotta do. <laughs> just crack through the white chocolate. <laughs> I, I know how hard it is to make anything for a ton of people, especially strangers who are judging you. But the fact that you had to transport it, make it small, take all those pains to make something incredibly special and that spoke about you when there were probably so many other ideas you had, I think it's spectacular that you did it at all because I know it is so scary. And just, I could imagine being in the car with you as like, ah! <laughs> I think everything was fantastic, and I'm, I'm so proud that you like were able to like put it all together, and everything was beautiful. It was so great. So, you, and so yay to all pastry chefs and bakers because, of course, we're the best. Um, but for the strawberry shortcake, it it was hard to approach. On the other hand, I love nothing more than a gorgeous container that is edible. I mean, that is always fantastic. If I could eat the plate that it's on, I'm even happier. So, and it was beautifully done. It was a gorgeous dessert. I am a marzipan freak, and that made me so happy. And again, the chocolate, even if it's hard to approach, it did bring a nice crispness to it. And then it melded everything together beautifully. And it was one of those things that if you got the full mouthful, you're golden. So, well done. That's what I always say. <laughs> Is it Chef Poppy? <laughs> James Choya of the Pitcher Inn. <laughs> and Robert Alger of Trap Family Live. to congratulate our second runner-up. Oh no, we don't have a drum anymore! Everybody give me a drum roll! <laughs> Chef Poppy, second runner-up! <laughs> so our winner is... Robert Alger of the Trap Family Lodge! <laughs> Text the word food now to 52,000 with your mobile phone and donate $10 to Vermont Food Bank.